Welcome back to another AFL redraft. This is the series where I go through previous AFL drafts and redraft the top 10. This time we are doing the 2007 AFL draft. Before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe. You can watch the 2000 this, 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 and this draft on my YouTube channel. So check those out. And let's get straight into 10th place. I have got a man who was drafted originally to the Dogs. He's most famous probably for his time at GWS. I've gone with Callan Wall. Now, Cullen Ward was originally picked at pick number 19 by the Dogs, so, you know, not too far away from pick 10. If he had have gone at 10th place, he would have gone to the Adelaide Football Club. Would he have stayed at Adelaide? I'm not too sure, but the reality is Cullen Ward, A, he's a leader, which, you know, is an important part. The drafts, the redrafts we do here, it's got nothing to do with the best players. I mean, I guess it does, but it's more so looking at it. If you have to draft these players in order, who would you draft? And that relates to the importance of their position, the importance of, you know, them as a leader, for example, what attributes are they given? It's not strictly just the best 10 players. It's more so if you have to build a team around that particular player, which uh, player would it be and why? Uh, so we're going with Collingwood at 10. Like I said, he's a leader. Leads by the front. Very good midfielder. He's been a consistent midfielder for, what, 10, 15 years? I mean, 2007, that's a fucking long time ago. Most of the players in this draft have retired. Yeah, I think he's an absolute quality player. Uh, never won a All-Australian, which, you know, begs the question, does he deserve to be in the team? But... You know what? Let's be real. He's a really good player and he suits 10th place. In 9th place, I have got a famous Kangaroos defender. I've got Scott Thompson. Now, Scott Thompson was originally picked at pick 37, so not super low down the draft. If he had gone to pick 9, he would have gone to the St. Kilda Football Club, where he probably would have been a one-club player, like he was at North Melbourne. What a guy. What an absolute player. He's won the All-Australian, so that's an accolade to his name. Obviously, a brilliant key defender, one of the most consistent key defenders during that period at the North Melbourne Football Club where they made prelims and after prelims. Really impressive player. Unfortunately, doesn't get the recognition because he plays for a smaller club who never won a grand final or got close to a grand final, unfortunately. But the reality is he is an absolutely phenomenal player. Retired relatively recently the last two, three years. The body of work, that's a big word in this, this series, body of work. What work, what body of work has your player done? And he's done a lot. Now, let's move on to eighth place who I've got someone whose career was going really well uh, until it wasn't going really well. I've got Jack Steven. Now, Jack Steven, you know, originally pick 42, went to St. Kilda. If he had have gone at pick eight, he would have gone to the Brisbane Lions. Now, the Brisbane Lions in eighth place chose Lockie Henderson instead. I'm not going to tell you who not pick nine and ten were originally because they'll come later on in my draft, so let's not spoil that. But Jack Steven, I mean, what an absolute terrible story. He was such a good player. I mean, if he had just done, you know, half of what he did at St. Kilda at Geelong, he would have been higher in this list. 